Choosing the right hardener, depending on the context and type of repair, will be essential to obtain a quality repair. This video shows all aspects and tips to consider for mastering this process. Sometimes there is a tendency to underestimate the role of hardeners and their correct use in the repair processes, an incorrect choice or mixture of it being the origin of different painting defects. The main function of a hardener is to increase the speed of a chemical reaction, in this case paint drying and hardening, preserving its nature once the reaction is complete. 2K paints are those that need a hardener to work properly. Component A is the paint, such as a primer, putty or clear coat. And component B is the hardener. Thinners would be component C of the mixture. For repair productivity, it is essential to have a wide range of high quality hardeners that allow a great adaptability in their use, thanks to their combination with different types of products, such as fillers or clear coats. This will provide simplicity and ease of use, reduce storage and increased product rotation. Hardeners are divided mainly into four groups. Slow hardeners. Medium or standard hardeners. Fast hardeners. Ultra fast hardeners. For this tutorial we'll take as an example the correct use of hardeners during the painting process. Considering the different factors, such as mixing ratio, size of the repair to make, or the temperature, will contribute to obtaining high quality finishes. Temperature and humidity are two of the most important factors in the choice of hardness. With a suitable temperature between 20 and 25 degrees Celsius, you can use standard or medium hardness, always considering the context and type of application. At low temperatures use fast or extra fast drying hardeners and at high temperatures slow hardeners to delay hardening. As pointed out, this is always conditional on other application contexts. Considering the product temperature and the surface on which it will be applied is also important. In this sense, it is important to temper the work areas so that both parts, product and application process acquire a temperature that is in an appropriate range to perform a correct repair. Choose one type of hardener or another, depending on the size or number of parts, and on whether you are repairing the entire car. This way, in smaller repairs it may be advisable to use fast or even extra fast hardeners, thus reducing drying and processing times. On the other hand, in large repair areas such as an entire vehicle, opt for medium or slow hardeners which gives more time to cover the entire surface without noticeable differences in the drying of the different parts. Following the right proportion of hardener and product in the mixture is a critical aspect in order to obtain a correct finish. Depending on the type of product and hardener, the mixing ratio will vary. It is described in the mixing ratio section. Another factor to take into account is the pot life of the product. Depending on the type of hardener we use, the pot life of the product will vary. Therefore, the faster the hardeners are, the less time we will have from the moment we prepare the mixture until we can no longer confidently apply it. One of the most important aspects in the body shop is the increase in productivity and repair workflow. With a correct choice of hardener you can influence these aspects, provided that the conditions previously described are appropriate. Thus, in repairs where, given the room temperature and the size of the repair, it is possible, it will be advisable to use fast or ultra-fast hardeners, which shorten the drying and hardening time of the paint coat, thus increasing the flow of repairs in the booth. As we have seen, having a versatile range of hardeners and the knowledge required to know how to choose the right hardener at any given time will be a key factor in obtaining greater profitability and productivity in the body shop.